What's wrong with you? Why are you so stupid? You're so weird. You're a freak. <sighs> He does stuff like that to me too. Peter's never very nice. At all. I know. He's not nice at all. Wanna play? Sure. But don't you think I'm weird? Lucas, we have a friend since kindergarten. I know your autism makes you different at all, but in a good way. I'm always gonna be your friend. Okay. kids. I've talked to other parents and I've called Mr. Jones about Diane, school so many leave times. Leave it alone. Boys are going to fight today and friends tomorrow. And leave that principal alone too. His job's hard enough without you up there complaining about boys being boys. You're driving him just as crazy as you are me. Look. You know I love you, new boy, right? I know. We love you too. Okay. Hey, did you call the principal the other day and tell him what happened after school with the boys? I did. I got his usual. Boys will be boys. Do you think Peter's picking on Lucas because he has autism? No, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense that he would pick on Lucas just because he has autism. Well, Lucas has always been different though. I don't know. I'm just tired of Lucas and Georgie getting picked on. Georgie? How did Georgie get brought into this? Peter went up to Lucas and Georgie the other day. Well, you know Georgie's not gonna back down from anybody. <laughs> I know. <sighs> he told him he could beat the snot out of him. <laughs> That's my boy. <sighs> Don't encourage him. Wayne said the same thing. You know great minds think alike? Yeah, I know. 
And on that note, I have things to go do before I go get these kids from school. You guys plan on coming over for dinner tomorrow night still? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Oh, love you. I love you too, and don't worry about anything. We'll get through this together. Mm, I hope so. Thank you for being such a good best friend. Always. Ma'am, please take a seat. Am I really going to be here that long this time? I think it'd be better if you just take a seat. Okay, fine. Now, I called you here today uh, because Lucas got punched in the stomach on the playground. Let me guess. It was Peter Willis. And no, I can't tell you who it was, but we've been over this over and over. And over and over. It's always Peter. When are you going to do something about that kid bullying my kid? Ms. Davis, if Lucas won't talk to me, he has autism, Mr. Jones. He doesn't trust you anymore. And you said other kids saw this happen. Why can't you do something based on that? Well, to be honest with you, I think they're just boys being boys. Seriously, you're joking, right? And there, there is one other thing that I wanted to bring up while you're here. What's that, Mr. Jones? Now, I'm not overly concerned about it, but Georgie came up to me on, and said that another kid threatened to slit his throat on the playground with a knife. Now, the other kid, we know the other kid, he had never brought a weapon to school, he's never, you know, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's anything to concern yourself with, and we're going to keep an eye on things like we always do. You are joking. You're going to keep an eye on things like you always do. I know what that means. That means you're gonna let Peter continue to bully my kids, like you have all year long. You do realize that he's the one running your school, right, Mr. Jones? Ma'am, I think you're overreacting. Overreacting, please. You've got to be kidding me. said today. Where does a kid learn to threaten another kid like that? Try not to worry. Nothing bad's ever happened at school. I went there when I was the boys' ages. It's a good school. And besides, I doubt tomorrow's gonna be the day that all of a sudden something bad happens. I'll believe you're right this time. You go to bed. I gotta get these little messes off to school and you have work tomorrow. Come on. Hey. What? Say that again. What? Say that I'm right. Mm, whatever. I did not say you were right. Oh, you did? No. Oh, did not say you were right. No.
Hey, baby girl. You doing okay? Mm, no. No. Didn't do nothing. Just let it go. Thought them boys was being boys, you know? Just fight one day. I let this happen. I could have stopped it. I could. Why? Oh my boy, man. Miss Georgie. Who is Mr. Davis? Because he saved my life. Yes, he did. He was the best people in the world. Yes, he was, Georgie. The film that you just watched is based on actual events of bullying from other children to Lucas. Children with autism are bullied three times more often than other children with or without disabilities. Boys with autism are bullied more frequently than any other child. If you know somebody who is a bully or is a victim of bullying, will you stand up with us and help them? Both bullies and victims need help for different reasons. Victims need help because they don't know how to stand up for themselves. And bullies, they're asking for help. So be an advocate for both victims and bullies with us. I know that we have advocated for both Lucas and the people that have been a bully to him. Stand up with us and advocate for victims and bullies. I'd live.